Oh, boo hoo hoo. He is there. He's everywhere. You see him in your dreams. You see him in the wrestling ring. <laughs> what? what? What's up with this hate? What's up with this atrocious hate, this demeanor, this evil of Dominic Mysterio? I mean, let's run it down real quick. In wrestling biz, we seen so many great heels, the likes of Ric Flair, Randy Orton, Triple H. And you just see these guys get mad love at the very end of the tunnel, right? But now we're seeing the heels of today. And one of those names is Dominic Mysterio. Why you get so much hate? Well, let's run it down. Dom just helped his lovely girlfriend, Liv Morgan, become the first ever women's champion at Crown Jewel. And a lot of y'all were kind of salty about it. Kind of salty about it. I mean, honestly, like I said, I was kind of like a little demeanor about it. But Nia Jax didn't win. I'm okay with that, though, okay? But it's dope. Like, Dom got hate for that. He got heat for what he did to his father, Rey Mysterio, when he turned the heel on his daddy. Yeah, he turned heel on his daddy, and he turned heel also on Edge that exact same night, and got so much hate from that day. So the booze wasn't at that point, but it was kind of getting there. So you kind of ask this question, what really got people at uproar? We 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 gonna, we gonna, we gonna go over, you know what I'm saying? But listen, no, let me talk about this. One, I got a little story for y'all. Listen, then you got the Hall of Fame moment. We got a video on this, by the way, Chad. Go go go. I said Chad. <laughs> I'm dreaming. Um, go check it out, by the way. Up on the channel right before this video. Oh, uh, five reasons why Dom is hated. Um, but yeah, the Hall of Fame moment. You know, we got the moment where we seen he broke Rhea Ripley's heart. I know. Uh, he broke Rhea Ripley's heart at SummerSlam. He chose Liv over Rhea. But you ask this question, you're in that position, what would you do? I, I mean, listen, with us guys out here, listen, some of us are perfect gentlemen. We love to treat the women very good. We don't do the whole heartbreak thing. But some of y'all motherfuckers, y'all can't wait the whole girl, bro. I'm just saying. So we all we all not saints out here, bro. Girls, y'all too. Don't say that like y'all pretty and all like you know innocent. You know, not so innocent, pretty space. <laughs> but I'm just saying for the guys out there for this video, okay? Now listen, the biggest one that primarily got him booed was what he did to his family, particularly his mom. But the whole tell his mom to shut up. I probably put a clip here. I don't know. <laughs> tell his mom to shut up. I mean, I I get that. You know what I'm saying? But it's professional wrestling, folks. I mean, c come on. I mean, come on, man. Listen, like, he, he loved his mother. He literally, he, she was at his wedding in IRL, okay? It's like some fans still get that little boo heart in the heart hole when it comes to that moment. Stop crying about it, okay? Just enjoy what's happening. Like, listen, guys. It's professional wrestling, and we need stuff like this. If everybody was happy all the time in wrestling, would that be a great show? What do you watch shows for, ladies and gentlemen? What do you watch for? Do you watch for just the, hee <laughs> hee oh, so happy, oh, so happy, happy, happy. Oh, this is so nice. This is so wonderful. Oh, so happy and joyful. No, motherfucker. You, you here for the drama. Don't lie. You here for the drama, the heartbreak, because you want to know why you here for the heartbreak. You want to know why you here for the drama. You want to know why you here for this, that, and the third. It's because maybe look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Maybe look at yourself like, oh, man, my life sucks. sucks. It's horrible. I work nine to five. I get off work and I just sleep, eat, and <laughs> and I'm literally just waking back up and doing it all over again. Literally. The same thing, routine, back and forth. This is what I got now. You probably need to probably ask yourself that question, right? Then you find professional wrestling. And you just see the moments that make you yay. And then you get the moments like, oh, you know what I'm saying? But that's what's great about it. Like, we need a balance, y'all. We need a balance of these things. We need a balance where we get the moments where we just happy about it. Me get the balance of the moment we just mad about it. It's okay. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, appreciate the fact that we got those, again, like the rights like the Ryan Ryan Piper. Just cracking dudes with coconut heads. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On top of the forehead. Appreciate the fact that we got Triple H, uh, Triple H uh, coming through, just pedigreeing Shawn Michaels, turning on his former best friend, and then we get the big match at SummerSlam. Now think about that for a second. 
Think about that monumental moment where everybody's so pissed at that, and then we get a great match for it. IRL, listen, when Dom turned on his daddy, I see a lot of y'all was hyped about the match. At. Listen, I see many of you guys were like, Ray, hit Dom. I don't care if he's your son. Hit him. Hit that bitch. And he just went not do it for weeks. Then he finally cracked. He finally turned. He finally punched him in the face and said, Look, man, I'm sick you keep pushing me every week. We're going to WrestleMania. And everybody was cheering. Now, what if that didn't happen? What if Dawn never did that? What if Dawn was just still, y'all don't even give a damn. Y'all don't even give a damn. So, I'm asking this question. What's up with all this Dom hate? Y'all y'all should really appreciate what Dom is doing. Dom is giving y'all a reason to hate, boo, like, the, the whole thing. Like, listen, he giving y'all reasons to just say, we got a bad guy to just hate on. We got a bad guy to hate Literally, every single week, he's giving you that. There's not many hills that's giving you that. You got the likes of Roman Reigns when he was a hill tribal chief. Y'all were cheering for Roman. Y'all wanted to boo Roman Reigns. Y'all was y'all wanted to cheer Roman Reigns when he was a hill. Every time somebody's a bad guy, there's reason to cheer for him. But don't give you a reason to hate him. And that's the beauty of it. That's why I'm saying there should be no reason to hate this man. Like, I'm talking about legit hate this man. Like, some, some fans, some of you guys just hate Dom. Literally. And I don't understand why that is. You guys should really appreciate what he's doing. He's giving you the art of booing a WWE, or you want to call it WWE, a, whatever, WWE wrestling superstar, whatever. And I respect you. So, Dom, I don't hate you, my friend. I love you what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. If you're going to continue to be in the hill, keep doing what you're doing, man. That's all I got to say. I'm out. I'm out, man. That's it. Like, like the video, you want to see more rants like this, put down in the comments. If you still hate Dominic, you love Dominic, whatever. Let me know. I'm gone. Peace.